took our ancestors, those first humans, around 35,000 years to make the perilous journey from Africa to the New World. Today, nearly 500 generations later, their descendants can make the trip in less than a day, from anywhere in the world. And every year, for about five days, nearly a million people do precisely that. They come here to Rio de Janeiro for one of the most exuberant celebrations of life anywhere in the globe. That's why I've chosen to end my journey here. This story would have been impossible to tell. The scientific technology simply didn't exist. But in this era of globalization, isolated populations are being absorbed at an ever-increasing rate. It's possible that by the end of the century, the genetic signposts of our journey will have been dispersed around the globe. When this happens, the story will once again become hidden. My colleagues and I have been very lucky to be able to tell this story, to decipher the genetic clues during this brief window in history. My journey around the world has only been possible because of some unusual people. The Navajo Indians from Canyon de Chelly. The Chukchi reindeer herders from the Russian Far East. The people at the crossroads in Central Asia. And the Australian Aborigines. Yet we can all trace our ancestry back to those few people who left Africa 50,000 years ago. Heads up, girls and boys. One, two, three. I'm from Liberia. I'm African and Native American. I'm from New Zealand. My father is Welsh and my mother is Greek English. I'm from Denmark. My father's Danish and my mom is Thai. I'm from the Caribbean. My father's African and Spanish. My mother's Irish German. I'm Slovakian. That's it. No way, I'm sorry. That's not it. Don't do it. I will. I think we'll be the one they choose. So, I've reached the end of my journey. And what have I learned? Well, a lot. I've been humbled by the courage and resilience shown by our ancestors. And I've, I've witnessed firsthand the powerful combination of intelligence and the human spirit. And reassuringly, I've proven to myself that all those years in the lab weren't wasted. The story carried in our blood really is true. But there's one lesson that stands out from all the others. It's a lesson about relationships. You and I, in fact everyone all over the world, we're all literally African under the skin. Brothers and sisters separated by a mere 2,000 generations. Old-fashioned concepts of race are not only socially divisive, but scientifically wrong. It's only when we've fully taken this on board that we can say with any conviction that the journey our ancestors launched all those years ago is complete. <laughs>